Hello, 3D printer peeps. Hello, Creality users. Hello, owners of the K1. I'm sitting here with an exclusive document prepared for me by Creality. This document highlights some of the things they've been working on behind the scenes since the launch of the K1 in order to improve some of the issues launch owners have been experiencing. This document is dated May 20th and Creality has informed me that additional improvements have taken place since the creation of this document. Why they haven't updated this document before sending it over to me, I am not sure, but this is what I have, so let's have a look. Keep in mind, this document was likely written in Chinese and then translated to English. The first image on the screen here looks to be the extruder with a number one and number two notation. So number one says the rebound of flip was enhanced to keep both gears in the same position. I suppose they're meaning that the force in which this thing pulls on the gears to create their tension has been increased. Number two, add the glue to the screw to lock gear and keep them not loose. So both of these things apply to improvements on the extruder to fix issues people have had with under extrusion. It sounds like there are two screws right here holding these gears in place and perhaps they were vibrating loose and backing out a bit. So they must have used something along the lines of Loctite to keep them in place. Number three, which is right here, there's no notation, it's the whole photo. Uh, they upgrade the material of the plate between the motor and the gears to make it more heat proof so the gears won't be affected and deformed by heat. I guess these are plastic gears and maybe the heat was affecting the shape of the teeth. So they have changed the material of this gasket here to insulate and shield the gears from the heat. Next up is issues on the hot end. They have upgraded the ceramic heater wrap to make it more strong and won't easily worn off. Those of you who have seen the new Speedy Spider have seen Creality's new and very cool 360 degree ceramic heater tube. This replaces the traditional heater block with the heater tubes that slides into a little cylindrical hole in the heater block. And now instead features this ceramic tube around the heat break. It sounds like they have increased the strength of this ceramic wrap to make sure it can withstand the abuse of printing on the K1. They finish up with a couple of small issues. The nozzle continuously stays on the platform. Sounds like during certain operations and after finishing prints, the nozzle was staying put rather than homing, and this was causing uh, damage to prints and even the platform. So they have resolved that by releasing a new firmware. I did see them post about this new firmware. Number two, they have upgraded the hot end cover to make it not deformed after getting heat. So in other words, they made the cover more heat resistant. They probably are making it out of a different material, probably made it stronger, probably made some improvements in the clearances to keep it away from the heat sources as well. Number three, they have upgraded the fan to make it more powerful, but also less noisy. This is great. Cooling is super important on these new printers, such as the bamboos, in order for things to print properly at the high speeds. And of course, we want to... <clears throat> This is super important. Cooling is critical in these new higher speed printers, such as the P1P and the K1. Of course, some of these fans can be very loud. So it looks like they have increased the power of the fan and they've also used a quieter fan. This is really nice to see them do something as bold as this so quickly. Replacing the entire cooling fan is not something we've typically seen from Creality. It's something we've typically seen released as an upgrade that us as the user do ourselves. It's a short list, but it appears to cover some pretty important things. And it appears that Creality has acted rather quickly as the K1 is still very new. And some of these are significant upgrades. On top of the fact I've been told more upgrades have been deployed since this document. And I've been ensured the K1 I eventually will receive for coverage on my channel will be better than the one that is currently out now. This is great news for Creality supporters and great news for K1 owners. Some of you may be receiving K1s that already have these new updates. If you believe you have received a K1 with some of these upgrades already in place, tell us all about it in the comments and let us know how they are working out for you. Personally, I look forward to the future of the K1 and this type of printer in general. It looks like the future is full of lots of fun new toys and drastically faster 3D printers.